everybody welcome back it is Malik and we are on the stego missions okay I have one issue going on here I cannot remember how I beat level 5 <laughs> I've been playing with it today and I cannot remember how I did it uh, I can find the code that I believe I need to convert but it's been such a long time since I've done it I don't remember how I did it um, I have the, the answer to it. I keep my answers. Uh, but I cannot remember the steps I took to come about my answer. So I'm going to have to work on level 5 and, uh, and get back with you on that one. So if I remember correctly, I believe level 5 and, and some of the much later ones, like 14, were some of the by far the most difficult ones. Uh, then after five I think I hit a couple of them that were extremely easy uh, like level six so I'm gonna go on into level six um, I don't remember here if this one lets you skip I hope it lets you skip if so you guys can join six with me if not I'll try to figure out five tomorrow and uh, and get that video posted but level six is not any different from uh, mission one which actually a lot of people thought was one of the most complex ones it's only complex because you need to use an outside program uh, like you do in almost every stego mission um, the big thing I want to to give you on this one is of course you got to download the image this, this little checkerboard image here uh, and run it through the same program you used uh, for for mission one for mission four again something is going to stand out and and it almost always does uh, in stego it is something stands out that just doesn't belong and that's the hidden data so look at the results that you get when you break down the file the thing is are you gonna know what you're looking at so I don't want to give it away right now I want you to, to find it take a look at it and see if you can figure out what it is um, if so you use a very simple converter and you're gonna have your answer but I'm going to give you a chance to, to of course, to, to download the image, run it through the same thing you did in, in Mission 1 and Mission 4, see if you can find that piece of data that stands out, and, and see if you can recognize what type of data that is. It's a very special type, and there's, there's, there's a giveaway um, with it if, if you've seen it before. Run it through the converter, you're going to get your password. So I'll give you a minute to, to play with that. If, if you can't figure it out, if you can find the data but not quite sure what it is, I'll come back on, I'll tell you what it is, and then you should be able to convert it straight from that. So I'll give you a minute to, to do that stuff. Okay. So hopefully you solved it. But if not I'm gonna go ahead and and open it up and I'm gonna show you what you guys have probably already found you probably had no problems with this again I'm using I'm using hex edit to do it and I'm gonna open uh, uh, I call it stego 6 I think it was called stego 6 oh, hex edit is famous for pausing while it's browsing your desktop but when you open this up and in, in whichever you know, program you used again I like hex edit but I've already got mine highlighted it's all the way down here at the very bottom all of this data right here that starts with the T and goes all the way to the end okay 
this is basically a string of text but it's running across a type of encryption or let's say it's converted not truly encrypted but it's converted okay it's a base 64 instead of dealing with you know a base 10 base 2 uh, you know base 16 like we're dealing with with hex and all that stuff we're dealing with a base 64 <laughs> the giveaway of something like a base 64 is the padding that's these two equal signs down at the end it could have been much harder although you still could have recognized it because it just doesn't fit if there's one equal sign there's some padding two equal signs there's more padding no equal signs there's no padding the, I pulled up a website just so you guys can see it um, basically just a Wikipedia site because it's a great example of it so, and I like their example they don't go into too much detail but enough to understand they say well here's our ASCII text the word man well we all know that you know ASCII can be broken down into binary binary is 8 bits one byte well see that's not how base 64 works base 64 can't deal with 8 bits it can't deal with a full byte it only deals with 6 bits okay because since each bit can be on or off power 2 2 you know, possible answers to the power of 6 equals 64 okay so we only take the first 6 bits for the letter M so instead of taking that 0 and 1 so 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 is the binary for the letter M but if we want to turn it into base 64 we only want the 0 1 0 0 1 1 now we index that and basically we turn the binary back into um, text so of course you know 1 2 4 8 16 so 16 plus 2 plus 1 is 19 if we take a look at the base 64 chart 19 is going to equal a capital T then we take the next six bits blah next six bits etc all the way down to the end now what happened at the end and where those equal signs came from was um, if I can get to my scroll bar here there we go is what we call the padding when it runs out of space and there's nothing there when all six bits are off it's nothing well since there's there's technically no space for zero or zero just equals the equal sign so whenever you see that that's just a pad so that is a 64-bit code so understanding base 64 and knowing that's what you have drop that into a base 64 encoder decoder and decode that back into ASCII text and you're gonna have your password okay so I will go ahead and do it right here I think I still have it in my yeah there it is the whole thing from the TM the capital T all the way with the double equal sign decode it and there it is not like it's hard to decrypt this huh the password is there's your password don't grab the equal sign I will paste that back into here and there's your go on so as you guys have seen a lot of this stuff is dumping things into a hex editor and taking a very close look 
at the ASCII side and sometimes you're going to have to take a very close look at the hex side because sometimes the ASCII side won't give it away and you're going to find something in there that just doesn't fit because it's force pushed inside of the, the image or audio or whatever and then you just got to figure out what type of text it is and do some conversions now as I said mission 5 wasn't that simple finding the misplaced data was the easy part but the conversion was not so straightforward um, it was a little tough uh, I think it took me a while to actually crack 5 and again I had my answer I just don't remember how I did it so I got to go back and take a look and, and play with it um, but anyway that is is mission number six. Now, while I'm still putting out mission number, you know, while the, while I'm still putting out the stegos, I'm gonna start kind of dropping in some uh, extended basic ones. You know, I'll drop in some some JavaScript ones and all those too. Uh, but you know, so again, if you if you guys enjoy these videos, again, if you can hit the subscribe button, the like button down at the bottom, definitely let me you know know what you think about these things. I am uh, going to start doing some live uh, feeds. I gotta find a good night that kind of works. It's probably gonna be a Sunday night. Um, but start doing some live feeds, and may even start working it to where. Uh, until I can get my server spun up to where I can I can issue out virtuals to everybody um, may even pick a site that has some challenges and uh, you know we go live you guys can join on in and we'll go to these sites and we'll see who can bust this challenge uh, first and just kind of a, lot, a little bit of fun capture of the flag but not all hidden you know, together on the same server uh, so I'll let you know you, you can look for me on on Twitter uh, if you join me on Twitter I just started an account well I've had one I've just never really done anything with it uh, but you can look for me um, if uh, if you follow then I can post when uh, when I'm gonna be going live uh, and you'll be able, of course, you'll be able to get the tweet, and you'll be able to see, you know, if I decide, hey, I'm going to go live in two days or whatever, it'd be a whole lot easier for you to, you guys to find out, and then you can join in, and we can all bust a mission together. We can see who gets through it first. Um, and who knows, you know, if I can start, you know, turning this site into like a little bit of money-making site, we can actually start turning this into a game to where whoever wins first can win, you know, maybe a rubber ducky or you know something like that um, yeah, it'd just be a lot of fun for us to get together and, and, and do some stuff that we all play around with so if you if you join me uh, on Twitter uh, you'll see it there I'll start posting some things on there once I get some people joining in in joining in um, and we'll, we'll see how the live feeds go it may work great it may not work at all eh, if it works good we'll keep it going if it doesn't eh, we tried uh, but you can just look for me as, you know, at Malik CEH. All right. So, again, until next time, I will try to figure out uh, <laughs> mission number five. Uh, but until I get that, I'll keep going down the other Stego missions. Um, and I'll throw in some, uh, some basic missions, some uh, extended basic missions and all those uh, at the same time. All right. But until next time, everybody. Have a great one, and uh, I'll see you on the next mission.